Hey everyone, and today I'm doing something a bit different. I'm going to be reviewing something that I've opened before. I normally don't open things I review, but here we are. Now, this thing I've had for about two months now, and it's actually a really good puppet. It's the Jurassic World Baby Dinosaur Puppet, and it's the T-Rex one, not the blue one, or whatever Blue's baby is called in the movie. I, I didn't watch D Dominion. But anyway, what I'm going to do in this video is essentially show off all the features this has and kind of talk about it a little bit and review it. And also talk about why this is not selling well because I got this on clearance, like for half off. And in most Walmarts, if you still see this, it's probably like $20 by now. So anyway, let's talk about the features this thing has. Now, inside this is actually kind of like a handle to a gun, kind of. It has three triggers. One of them does the mouth. One of them does the eyes, although because it's like kind of cheaply made, the eyes make sound. Because the plastic is hitting plastic. So it kind of sounds like he's taking a picture of you. Smile! And there's also a trigger right here that your thumb is supposed to hit. And all it does is this. I, I, I don't know why, why that's a thing. It, it just makes the head go up and down. Now, there is a battery pack on the inside here to make it make noise, but I never put batteries into it. So I don't know what the noise quality is like for this thing, but honestly, you don't really need noise for this thing. It's fine on its own. If I was a better control quiz, this would look really cool right now. But you can see my double chin in the top of the video, so it doesn't help. Now, the negatives about this is, well, um, the feet are made of a hard plastic, and when you kind of rest it like this, the foot kind of kicks into your side. So that's not great. Another thing is that all the mechanics for all the stuff for the head are in the head, which means a lot of weight is right here. So a lot of weight's going to be pushing down onto your hand. So what you want to do is when you hold it, hold it like a baby to kind of relieve all that like pressure and all that that's getting forced onto your hand. Because over time, if you just hold like this, it's going to get your hand really, really sore. Dinosaur, even. I don't know if I'm keeping this joke in the video or not. Also, the trigger I was talking about right here that moves its head up and down. Yeah, it's better for right-handed people because it's only on this one side. So if you're left-handed, well, um, then I guess you can't do this. Now let's talk about why this toy isn't doing so well. Now, for one thing, it's $60. Yeah, $60. And I got this on clearance. So it was about half off, so it was about $30. But still, $60 is quite a bit for something like this. I think most of it is because of the whole noise making part of it. But if you took that out and made it a little bit cheaper, people would buy this. Another reason I think that this like failed is because when it's in the packaging, you don't really see the glove and most people just look at it like first glance and assume it's like a big like dinosaur toy, like all the other Jurassic Park toys that they have in this oil. So that might also be why people aren't buying this because they don't know it's a puppet. I've actually like taken this to like um, county fairs and stuff, and people absolutely love this and ask where I get it, and I say at Walmart, and they didn't even know this was being sold at Walmart. So yeah, I think the big issue with this is that basically no one knows this is a puppet, and it's too expensive. Though lately you could probably get this on clearance for like 20 bucks. Now, would I recommend this? Yes, this is actually a very cheap alternative to a dinosaur puppet. I mean, a dinosaur puppet like this would probably cost you, like, thousands of dollars, and it'll just be made of foam. So, yeah. 
It's actually really cool that they decided to make these, but I wish they did better. Anyway, if you liked the video, like and subscribe, and uh, let me know in the comments what I should review next. And um, until next time, bye. Not the mama. None of you are going to get that joke.